All right, then. Well, I suppose predictions are kind of inevitable from the two years. Sean, why, why will Galway win? Uh, you know what the old curse in Galway, I have to tell you that first, there was a curse in Galway. It happened in the Gaelthut in Castle Gar in the church years ago. That's why Galway didn't win in All-Ireland in 1980. Uh, the old priest was there, the back, the, the, he wasn't fronting the audience at the time, and he heard the commotion, and because they were getting the train, the Galway hurlers and manager had to go on the train. So he put a curse on them, right? Mm -hmm. The curse, we couldn't break the code until 1980. Galway won the, the, the Erectus, the Railway Cup, and the Castle Gar won the club. And the code was, eventually we found out, it had to be an Irish-speaking captain that would make the speech from the, from the Hogan stand. It was Joe Connolly and then JC yeah. tomorrow. We are, are, are we're going to be at the altar of JC tomorrow. <laughs> Galway. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, look, like every new manager, you know, Jim McGuinness has proved it, James Horne has proved it. I think Galway have got the right management team together. They've got the right blend. Galway are not quite as young. There's a bit of experience there. I think they, could, they did it to Kilkenny once. And the big question I'm asking here tonight, everybody's asking, what Galway team will turn up? I'm asking ye, what Kilkenny team will turn up tomorrow? Oh. That's the big Still question. <laughs>